All right, our first example here, it's an undercharge system. Uh, that's a fixed metering device with a cap tube. And this happens pretty fairly often with uh, cap tube systems. Those are usually the small prep tables that are used to hold um, meat and deli and produce for making sandwiches or pizzas. And then the, they prepare it right above and all the um, ingredients are sometimes stored in, in canisters on top and then underneath there's a little small storage area as well and these systems are critically charged you know they only have ounces of refrigerant in their pound or so and when a cap tube system loses 10 percent of its refrigerant charge with it it's rated for system performance starts to degrade and uh, that doesn't take many times of hooking up your gauges, long hoses to the system before you have removed enough refrigerant from this critically charged system to um, affect its operation. And if you suspect that that may be the case, before you start to troubleshoot, because you're going to chase your tail, um, you need to explain that to the uh, restaurant or store owner and reclaim that refrigerant and weigh in the factory charge and start fresh. Because if you don't, you will be chasing your tail and spend hour after hour looking for a problem that may be caused by low refrigerant charge. And if you do a leak search, you're not going to find a leak because if the company before you or the technician before you had put his gauges on two or three times, that critically charged system is going to be low on refrigerant. So let's move on here. Undercharged fixed metering device system. So the evaporator temperature will be lower than normal. Why is that? Because there's too little refrigerant and too little refrigerant causes low pressure and low temperature. The superheat's going to be higher than normal because that refrigerant, uh, because there's not enough refrigerant to uh, boil off throughout the entire evaporator, it boils off very quickly early on in that evaporator and then it begins to pick up more superheat than normal. The condensing temperatures are going to be lower because uh, of the lower pressure because of less refrigerant and there's not that much heat from the evaporator because um, the, the most amount of heat is absorbed by boiling refrigerant and because you have less refrigerant there's less heat going out to the condenser. And then um, with the subcooling it's going to be lower than normal because there's just not enough refrigerant in the systems to have any type of subcooling going on. 